I'm Allison Tolman, and here is the companion piece to the Affordable Art Fair Spring Edition. Since it's spring, I'm starting things off with Hamanishi San's edition called Spring Fireworks. Interesting that he chose to show fireworks in black and white since we always associate fireworks with color, but that's part of Hamanishi San's genius. In this video, I decided to alternate between male and female artists, and our next person is Oda Mayumi, who is showing us the goddess of compassion. And in her net of compassion, she's gathering up all kinds of fishes. This is a silk screen printed on handmade paper. The next tip technique that we're going to be featuring is etching. Etchings are done on copper plates, and this is called Magic Red by Kuroda Shigeki. In fact, there is a black and white one behind me. Kuroda-san really wanted to indicate how we look at movement. If you're on a bicycle, he thought, you have to be moving, otherwise you would fall off. He doesn't really show us the people. He doesn't care about the individual. It's really a mass of people. And the contrast between the semicircle of the umbrellas and the full circle of the wheels is one of his signature themes. Another etcher is Araki Shinko, and she has divided up all of her pieces. These are separate pieces of copper that would have to be inked and printed on the plate. And she's been doing a series of flower pieces for the past six years. Typically, when one thinks of Japanese prints, we do think of woodblock, and Morimura Rei is a very good practitioner of this traditional medium. He printed this horizontal woodblock on exceptionally thin handmade paper. And this is Matsushima Godaido, which is very near Sendai, the epicenter of the great earthquake in 2011. And I thought that this would be an interesting piece to commemorate that day. Okada Marie ventures more into the abstract world. This is the Affordable Art Fair Spring Edition. And of course, it rains a lot in the spring, and her piece is called Rainy Forest. I don't see so many raindrops, but I do see little sprouts coming, and in her usual whimsical way, her collaged pieces of handmade paper jump out of the bounds of the border, just like nature does. Here is a woodblock by Hasegawa, and we have seen many of his moons before. He does the reductive woodblock technique, and in the bottom, this brilliant green shows us the advent of spring. Here is one of Imamura Yoshio's new additions. The artist has spent a lot of time in Europe. In fact, he got a grant from the Cultural Ministry of Japan to spend time in Paris. This is a villa, though, in Italy, and I like the contrast between architecture and then nature blooming. These are gaura flowers blooming in the bottom corner. And then of course he's included his wonderful fossils and a little bit of silver leaf collage which makes Iwabamura-san's work so distinctive. Sarah Breyer this time is the only non-Japanese artist in the group and she is still continuing in her paperwork tradition. This is an aqua tint embedded in handmade paper, handmade Japanese paper with um, mulberry fibers of different lengths. It's called Sky Dancer. Going back to woodblocks, we have two by Goto Hidehiko, who is best known in Japan as a maker of the baren tool. The baren is a circular disc, and it's the way you transfer ink from an inked block onto paper. Goto-san made this tool for about 10 years before turning his mind to the actual creation of works. And I always love pointing out to people the really beautiful texture in each of his images. Finally, we have a brand new edition by Saito Noriko. This is huge. It's the largest one that I'm showing today. And it really captures Noriko's ebullient personality. It's called jazz. And you may know that a lot of artists make their work while listening to music of some form or another. But here with her haphazard, crazy strokes, we just get the sense of a stream of consciousness outpouring of creativity. So, as I said, 
baker's dozen of prints that are companions to what you'll see on the Affordable Art Fair website. Many of these are the most recent pieces released by the artists. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with me at alisontolman at gmail.com. I know quite a lot, not only about the work, but about the people behind the works. Thank you.